मिड टर्म एग्जाम्स आर जस्ट थर्टी डेज अवे एंड ऑलरेडी द पैनिक मोड इज ऑन फॉर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स बट ट्रस्ट मी इफ यू यूज दिस थर्टी डेज माइंडफुली स्ट्रेटेजिकली देन यू कैन ईजिली कवर द सिलेबस रिवाइज एंड वर्क इन टू योर मिड टर्म एग्जाम्स विथ फुल कॉन्फिडेंस सो यस फॉर दिस हेल्प आई एम हियर टूडे वेर आई बी गिविंग यू अ थर्टी डेज स्टेप बाय स्टेप स्ट्रैटेजी हाउ यू कैन प्लान योर प्रेपरेशन सो दैट यू कैन कंप्लीट योर सिलेबस इन टाइम एंड स्कोर हाई इन योर मिड टर्म एग्जाम्स सो लेट सी वॉट ऑल थिंग्स वी हैव इन टूडेज video so first of all i'll say you what is the goal we have then what are the study resources we should follow what should be our study approach okay next 30 day plan breakdown daily routine and tips for success and lastly how can we diksha karnataka people can help you okay so what is the goal for the next 30 days it's very simple we have to cover the complete syllabus at least once then we have to revise effectively practice answer writing as many times as possible and lastly is enter exam with confidence so these all goals can be achieved if we have a proper strategical and a very very mindful plan with us okay so you don't have to worry about making plan because that task is already done by me and i will also tell you how you can do it so what is the best resources you need to follow so very uh, thing the first thing for concept clarity you just need one book that is ncert and at this point of time you should be solving previous year questions and for that you can take jivit book or oswell book my recommendation again will be jivit book because i have personally used this book it is really good you have all the previous year questions of last 3 to 4 years so please if you can get this book and practice questions from here okay next we will uh, see uh, how what should be the study approach for the next 30 days okay you have to have an integrated study approach you have to read a chapter revise the chapter and then write answers this is what should continue first read ncert of that topic then revise the concepts like making notes and revising it then solving pyqs okay that's the simple thing you have to do so do, don't just read practice answer writing this is very important which answer writing you should practice previous year questions from where will you get that from jivit book or from the oswell book okay next focus more on uh, high weightage topics okay so whichever topics are carrying high weightage i'll give you the weightage also so if you see whichever chapters are high weightage make sure that you do those chapters more efficiently so that you can easily get a good mark okay so for example you are doing one chapter which carries 12 marks okay if you do this particular chapter and you have left one chapter which has just carrying 3 marks so that effect or the consequence will not be that uh bad but if you do this particular chapter and you leave this chapter there will be uh, like your marks will go down so make sure that high weightage topics you do properly okay next uh here's a study uh 30 day breakdown but before that i will just taking telling you the syllabus of the 30 uh, days so this is the mid term syllabus that we have received from different students so if you have any other chapter in your mid term apart from this then please put down in the comment section so that we can also know what all things are different okay so physics we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 chapters chemistry we have six chapters some students may have aldehydes ketones also just do let me know in the comment section and here we have six chapters and here we have seven chapters okay and beside that i have given you the weightage so you know which chapters are high weightage where you have to focus more okay now let's come to the 30 day plan so i have given you two subjects per day okay physics and chemistry on one day maths and bio or computer science on the other day english and language you can study on the sundays okay so first two day you can start with electric charges and field and solutions two days one day you have to do concepts another day concepts plus pyqs next day 3 and 4 uh, relation function and sexual reproduction in flowering plants 5 and 6 electrostatic potential and capacitance and electrochemistry and then day 7 you have to do complete revision of what you have studied in the next last 6 days similarly we'll go ahead with day 8 to day 13 you can see we have maths and bio uh, then you have current electricity and dnf block and you have matrices and reproductive health and then revision plus language 
नेक्स्ट मूविंग टू डे 15 टू 20 अगेन यू हैव फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मूविंग चार्जेस एंड मैग्नेटिज्म एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स एंड हियर यू हैव डिटरमिनेंट्स एंड प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस एंड वेरिएशन सिमिलरली आफ्टर दैट यू हैव मैग्नेटिज्म एंड मैटर एंड हेलो एल्केन्स एंड हेलो एरिन्स एंड लास्टली यू हैव दिस रिवीजन प्लस लैंग्वेज ऑन द 21st डे then coming to 22 to 29 you can see almost all your syllabus will be covered alternating current ray optics human health and disease will be remaining that you have to do and whenever you get time you have to just revise and re focus more on revision and languages okay so you can take a screenshot of this one i'll just get a bit aside from day one please you can take a screenshot here okay then moving here then to 15 to 21 22 to 30 okay so once this is done now let me tell you what should be your daily routine so i'll tell about first evening so after you come to school go tuitions or whatever in the evening you have to start the chapter you have to do study the chapter from ncrt and make notes from that when you are studying the chapter of ncrt solve the solve the in text questions okay plus examples you may skip for now uh, the exercise questions on the first day because two days I have given for one chapter. So first day when you are reading through the chapter whatever in-text questions examples come solve them and go to the chapter okay. So keep solving them don't leave it. Next uh, after that at night just revise quickly whatever you have studied whatever notes you have made just revise them quickly and in the morning you have to do writing practice so 30 minutes you can take 30 minutes of writing practice okay because morning and or, or else you can exchange this one like you can do writing practice at night and revision in the morning based on your body cycle if you are if at night you feel more sleepy then do writing practice so that you can write and based on that you can exchange these two but i feel evening should be there for new chapter and note making this two you can exchange according to your strength and weakness then after that tips some uh, very very important tips that you can take so that this midterm exams is a big 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 success for you so first of all start with high weightage chapters okay so when you have done the high weightage chapters you have a confidence that okay this much marks i will definitely get okay so please start with high weightage chapters use ncrt as the base no other books are required just read ncrt again and again as many times as you can so don't go for any other book maintain a mistake notebook so whatever questions you are solving mcqs or any numericals which questions are getting wrong please write down in a mistake notebook so that you can revise it before the exam next write one model paper for all the subjects okay like at least one model paper of each subject you should have written so that you know how to manage time and all you can get perfect with that and lastly sleep well and stay consistent these 30 days make sure that you are putting your efforts every single day don't miss even a single day and just work hard stay consistent you don't have to study 10 hours 15 hours at least three to four hours every day if you study easily you can complete the syllabus okay so my dear children that's all and now the big question is how will diksha karnataka help you in your preparation so today we have a live okay where we are launching something very very special on the occasion of teachers day for all of you so i'll be just telling you i won't be revealing it now okay but we have something very very special so yes uh, okay let me reveal it okay so the thing is we are planning a revision plan for all of you for midterm i'll show you the schedule also so you can uh, see from oh, sorry uh, sorry this is september yeah so from september 6 onwards we'll be starting these are the chapter list these are the time so you will be getting three three videos per chapter okay one will be the quick revision of the chapter second will be a one marker question uh, video and the next one will be two three five marker video so you will have an overall preparation in one day in one chapter okay so we will be pu publishing these videos every day so that will be a huge preparation for all of you you can see the schedule we have a up to 30th of September and then uh, from October onwards like uh, the first week of October we will plan live sessions and all where we can take your doubts and everything so that schedule you will get later okay so with this students I will be winding up this video so uh, basically that thing is if this 30 day is used wisely 
effectively, strategically, then nobody can stop you to get a very good marks in midterm. And please remember, do not ignore midterm. Its marks are included in your final marks. So please put your 100% at this point of time and so that you can even know what is your weakness, what is your strength, okay? So if you are ready, so please put a hashtag midterm in the comment section and do let me know. Thank you for watching and all the very best.